clean water is a vital, essential asset for every community and resident. So how do we keep our local water bodies clean and protected so everyone can use them for drinking water, recreation, and aesthetic value? One critical way is to look at how pollutants easily enter these waterways. Stormwater runoff transport many types of pollutants directly to our waterways, such as sediment, excess nitrogen and phosphorus that algae feed on, bacteria and viruses, heavy metals, chemicals, and trash. This contaminated stormwater travels through a series of ditches and stormwater pipes that are directly connected to our water bodies. These separate storm pipes do not go to the wastewater treatment plant, so the contaminated stormwater runoff does not get treated before it is released into the environment. To address the contaminated stormwater issue, EPA and IDEM, through their Clean Water Act Authority, issue Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System, or MS4, permits to communities like yours. These permits require your community to implement activities related to six program areas, public education and outreach, to educate residents, businesses, and others on their role in helping to keep pollutants out of storm water. Public participation and involvement. This is a great opportunity to get your residents involved in local stormwater activities such as storm drain marking and trash cleanups. Illicit discharge, detection, and elimination. The term illicit refers to any contaminated non-stormwater discharge that may be in a separate storm system. MS4s must find and fix these issues, such as illegal dumping of motor oil or inadvertent cross-connections with sanitary sewer lines through detailed mapping and enforcing local ordinances. Construction Runoff Program MS4s must regulate active, private construction sites by enforcing local ordinances, since sediment is our number one pollutant by volume in our water bodies. Post-Construction Runoff Program this refers to those practices that can be incorporated into a construction project to handle the stormwater runoff after the project is completed to make sure runoff from the new project gets some sort of treatment before being released. Pollution Prevention and Good Housekeeping MS4s must prevent polluted runoff from their own operations and while they are working throughout the community. Also, your community's system of pipes, ditches, and control structures that route stormwater runoff to drainage ways must be maintained to support land uses and prevent flooding. To implement the MS4 program, several departments within your community, not only stormwater staff, must work together to cooperatively implement all of the permit requirements. Some MS4s have a stormwater utility or user fee to pay for their programs. So why is the MS4 program good for our community? To answer this question, we went straight to the experts. The leaders of some of Indiana's MS4 communities were implementing this important environmental program. Here's what they had to say. One of the things, uh, the top thing, is uh, partnership and working together. We really have that sense of how do we work together to get projects done. And that ties into everything that we do from quality of life initiatives, trails, parks, uh, to other infrastructure from water, sewer, stormwater, which all affect economic development, which right. is all tied back into the quality of life. We as elected officials have a clear understanding of how to work cooperatively, but water really right. doesn't. Right. You know, water basically follows the safest, the most direct path of travel. Right. And I think it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we start at the source and then where it's going to terminate and make sure that we do everything that we can within right. our powers to make this water pure. Join forces with other entities uh, such as other local units of government, uh, universities, nonprofits, anybody in your area that you can partner with. Uh, I feel like that's very important. In all reality, because of what we have done historically as a state, there's been a lot of abuses and a lot of misuse of our clear water. And for us to be able to try to rectify that and to make our state even a cleaner state than it is right now requires money. The establishment of the MS4 uh, was, was so important in a community that has uh, certainly the, our lakes have a, a very significant economic impact on our community. And protecting those lakes, protecting the water quality, the stormwater quality, trying to eliminate the pollution and, and any detriment to the lakes, uh, I think resonated well within the community. They, they want to see their rivers cleaned up, they want to see their streams cleaned up, other bodies of water cleaned up. That's really important to people and it's important to us here in the greater Lafayette community. Probably one of the most important parts of my role as mayor is to be able to explain it to my constituents and the importance of it and then the worth of it at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, there's an investment that communities have to put into MS4 projects. One of the most important facets in this position is the economic development end of it. 
you know, we've worked closely again with both cities and with our chamber to promote this area, not just Tippecanoe County, but the region as a whole um, for economic development. And when we talk to companies who um, are looking to locate here or even just our current companies who want to expand here, um, a lot of those questions that they have revolve around quality of life issues. Right. And this is an important element to the quality of life issue for Tippecanoe County. We know that treat, the way we handle our stormwater, the way we handle our environment, the way that we ensure that we're doing things that are sustainable really is a quality of life initiative. It's an economic development initiative. Quite appreciative on economic development is these ideas are ideas that many times developers are looking for. They want to see what you're doing with the quality of place and MS4 is, is such a strong quality of place initiative for the city of Muncie. Uh, cost share, join forces whenever possible. Uh, be as efficient, uh, as efficient with uh, taxpayer and ratepayer money uh, as possible. I think the most important thing is is the education of the community so that they they understand uh, what the issues are. Um, you know, I've taken a few calls from residents who didn't know why we added two dollars and ninety five cents onto their uh, their their sewage bill. Uh, in the same breath, they're telling me about the flooding issues that they have on their property coming in from a, a surrounding. Uh, field. I would encourage other communities to look at a partnership like we have and then to help that continue to grow. Well obviously uh, most communities are, are th their revenue is working very busy for itself right now okay. uh, and most hard-working citizens are really a little reluctant when it comes to local government adding an additional fee or a charge right. but there are charges that you do because it is good for some particular interest okay. and there are charges that you do because it's just the right thing to do. We have heard firsthand from MS4 community leaders about all of the benefits that their communities have received from implementing their stormwater quality MS4 programs. While the Clean Water Act MS4 program is required to be implemented by over 180 entities in the state of Indiana and over 6,000 in the United States, community leaders have demonstrated how this program complements and can enhance their local goals and needs. Make stormwater quality a priority in your community and you too will reap the benefits for your citizens.